Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, over the next couple of videos, I'm going to take you through step by step on how to redo your bar ends, but with a custom paint job. These usually come in black, and some of these are made out of all steel, like this set. Um, others are a mixture of um, metal and aluminum, and so on and so on. So, we're going to take you through on stripping these things down, priming, uh, painting, and doing a custom paint job uh, on them. Um, and you can do just about any kind of thing. You're going to probably want stencils for some of this stuff, uh, or do some you know, fancy taping with uh, green painter's tape, that sort of stuff. So you're going to need a drill press, uh, which would be the best way to do this. Um, put it on to uh, its highest speed, uh, or within the highest speed at least that your brush can handle. Okay, And then you're going to take this, we're going to fire this up, and you're going to go into this gently. You're not going to dig or gouge because you don't want to mess up the metal. So you want to just strip the old stuff off and get that rust out of the way too. some spots that are really stubborn this is where you can take some sandpaper we got a piece right here just wrap it around and twist the part in your hand but you want to make sure that all that old paint comes off when you're putting the new paint on, you don't want to see little risen up spots where the old paint was, and that'll actually cause it to flake and fall out. You can also go up and down the piece as well. You don't have to just twist it. Just depends on the angle you're at, whether you're going to have to twist it or not. But.
this here, that's 150 grit. So I'm going to go back to the machine. do with this. We got as much paint as we can that is going to come off and uh, it's pretty clean now. 
So the next thing you're going to want to do is get some more sandpaper out. This is some 600 grit sandpaper. That's about as far as you're going to have to take it. It's going to be this six. This is just to finish pulling off any other little flakes and little bits of rust. And it'll help get some of those lines out of there too. That happened with the brush. Now this is a wet dry sandpaper and I always like to use this stuff dry. I find it makes too much of a mess when it's wet. Because I also don't get to see what I've missed, if anything, and until I clean it up after, so I'd rather see it as I go. Now getting the inside, you're not going to get a whole lot of that. Um, what you can do is you can just roll up your sandpaper, go inside, and you just clean it this way. And then another thing I like to do is I've got a wire brush around here. Take this wire brush and you go inside the grooves. Now this part's going to go on your handlebar, so it's not going to matter if it's 100% perfectly painted inside. In fact, the little amount of paint you can get in there, the better. Now, if you're going to repaint your handlebars, it's going to be the same sort of thing. You're going to have to. Uh, Clean this up same way with your handlebars. So the next thing I like to do after I've sanded all this, I want to make sure it's nice and clean, is I take some brake cleaner and I spray it down. And then I can take a nice clean shop rag. Wipe it down. Get inside the grooves. Okay, so this part's all ready to be painted. So we're going to put that up there. Go on to our next piece. And uh, so the next video, we're going to. Uh, show you about how to primer these things and then we're going to go on to the next one doing your first coat and then whatever other sort of fancy stuff you want to do and we'll just continue on from there but that's your starting point so you need a brushed uh sorry a brass brush wire wheel don't use a steel wheel because it actually makes too much markings the brass uh brush wheels are actually the best for stripping down paint um into the metal so it doesn't hurt the metal at all um so go with those. Um, you can get bigger wheels too. I'm actually going to get a new one. I'm going to get a lot, much larger version of this one. Because these ones, the smaller ones, I find out they wear out a little quicker. But um, So anyways, we'll see you on the next video uh, for the uh, priming of this stuff. And we're going to do this, by the way, all with spray bombs. Because this is all small stuff. And I'm going to show you how you paint with a spray bomb. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.